Hey guys, Nick Arminis here. So welcome to the channel. Uh, I wanted to bring to you some really cool bit of news that just came out from Google in the last week or so. Uh, basically, you can now sell on Google Shopping for free. So stay tuned right till the end, guys. I've got some cool little tips coming your way. If you do enjoy the channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, comment, uh, let me know your thoughts. So guys, you know, obviously people are doing it tough and you know, Google is wanting to help people out. So what they've done is they're trying to take on Amazon in the e-commerce space and they've opened up Google Shopping listings. So under the Google Surfaces program, it's called. Uh, it's opened that up to people for free. So what this basically means now, guys, is that you have a new kind of skill set that is needed and that is Google Shopping SEO. Okay, so just like there's search engine optimization for text ads and websites, this now needs to be done with your Google Shopping ads. Now, don't worry guys, I'm gonna explain everything to you. So you're gonna need, you're gonna find out everything you need to know about how you can make use of this new program. Okay, so you're probably wondering, you know, well, firstly, why would they do this? Uh, I think basically to get more people on their platform, all right? So obviously Amazon, Pinterest, and a bunch of other people have come in and taken some of their market share. Why would they open this up? It's gotta to be to their benefit. The more people that are on Google, the more people that get into their ecosystem, I think down the track, either Google will put more emphasis on ads, or still, I believe ads are still gonna be the main focus here. So does this mean you don't need to pay for ads anymore? Now, guys, I think you're still going to need to pay for ads. Yeah, this is only going to be one way of driving traffic, just like organic SEO is just one method of driving traffic to your store. This is just going to be a new one, right? So Google does claim that the shopping tab listings are going to be based on relevancy. While I do think that this is the case, I think a similar situation is going to happen to how text ads appear. So Text ads are always gonna be at the top. I think the Google Shopping ads will always be at the top, no matter what they say. Uh, and then down the track, organic listings. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is what I see happening. Now, the great thing about this, guys, is that it's gonna bring more people into Google's ecosystem. More people are gonna be buying from Google Shopping. So the opportunity is gonna be there for people that do advertise and that are good advertisers with Google Shopping ads. If you do wanna learn more about Google Shopping ads, there's plenty of content on my channel. So make sure you go and have a look. I'll leave some links below just in case you're interested in some videos that may help you. So the more people on this platform, guys, it's gonna increase the potential size of the pie and basically, Google's gonna be able to take some market share from other people, gonna be better for you because more eyeballs on your products, so more opportunity for you to sell. So what do you need to participate? Guys, this is very, very easy. I'm assuming if you're interested in e-commerce or Shopify or any of those things that you've been on my channel, uh, I'm assuming you are a website, e-commerce store owner or an agency, so you're gonna need a website. It's that simple, an e-commerce store, so a Shopify site or similar WordPress or whatever you're using, WooCommerce. Um, and then you're gonna need a Merchant Center account. You're gonna to need to turn on the services program. So if you go in there, manage programs, and click service program, enable it, you're gonna need a product feed, yeah? So Google needs to know that you obviously have the relevant info and you comply with their policies. And if you use the app that I suggest, this is gonna be very easy and you're just gonna to have to enable the program. Now, I recommend you upload all your products to the store because it's gonna give you a max, it's gonna maximize your chance of getting sales because if you only pick and choose some, there's no point, this is organic. Uh, you may as well try and get as many sales as you possibly can for free with this. Um, interestingly, I have actually enabled this on quite a few stores and on one of my stores, I managed to see a huge pickup in organic traffic. I did just do a video on it in my course group uh, and upload it to my course. Um, within there, I've gone into great detail as to how I think you can maximize your chances of making sales with this. Um, and so, as I, as I just said, guys, it's it's already paying off uh, the two seconds that it took me to you know turn this setting on it's already paid for itself. The other cool thing is guys that, you know, Google is partnering with PayPal um, and it's doing this to obviously verify that um, merchants are trustworthy. And so it's gonna allow seamless verification of them, right? So it's gonna make it really, really easy for you to plug and play, tell Google you are a trusted and verified merchant. Uh, if you do use PayPal, if not, then obviously it's just gonna be working through your current website. Now you're probably wondering where are these listings gonna appear? It's gonna be the shopping tab, the Google search tab, uh, Google search page, images and maps, okay? They're plain and simple, that's where you're gonna appear. All of these are gonna be totally free, um, alongside obviously your paid ads. So if you're running both, you obviously got way more chance of maximizing your sales. Okay, so now, 
what I'm getting asked a lot is how can you make sure you appear frequently for this? Uh, so you're gonna need feed, page, and ad level optimization. Uh, overall, you just wanna be relevant and accurate to what the person's searching for. So give the user what they want, keep them on the page, and get them to convert, and Google's gonna reward you. So if you are interested in optimization, I have a great video on it. I rank number one or number two most of the time for this video. Go and check it out. It shows you exactly how to optimize your feed. And so this is gonna maximize your chance at telling Google you are a great, great, great uh, advertiser, even though it's free, uh, you, and you give people what they want. And so your listings will appear organically far more often. Now, if you do want even more info, obviously there's a whole section of my course on optimization. If you do wanna check it out, guys, it's still available at a very, very cheap price. It is going up very soon. So if you are interested, make sure you jump in before I put it up. It's way too cheap at the moment, and you're gonna get lots of all my best content. Lastly, guys, I like this update for a few reasons. I can now boost my sales with organic listings to millions of people who start their shopping journey on Google every single day. Heaps of people come on and they start their journey researching on Google. So this is a great way, especially if they're able to incentivize more merchants to get on. So this is the second reason. It should start bringing more customers uh, over the long term as people get what they want, they keep visiting, they tell other people, increases the size of the pie available in Google Shopping, take some of that Amazon market share back. So it also creates a whole new industry and service that my agency can offer people. So obviously, Shopping SEO is gonna be different to normal SEO because people that do ordinary SEO don't know how to use the merchant feed, okay? So it's something new they'll have to learn. So people that are already across the feed, like us uh, Google Shopping advertisers, we can offer this service and help boost people's sales almost immediately. Uh, feed site and ads optimization has never been more important. I'm a big advocate of this. Uh, most people don't do it. And so if you do do it and people like me that do, I'm gonna be able to make a much bigger impact than other people. And I'm gonna be able to get people more sales and also grow my own sales much quicker. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. As I said, if you're interested in my other content, check it out. Uh, otherwise, make sure you leave a comment below letting me know what you think is gonna be the result of this new change. Do you think it's gonna be good? Do you think it's gonna be bad? Okay, stay tuned for more videos uh, coming very shortly and I'll see you in the next one, guys. See ya.